Ooh, Yamaha. Back again. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. Hopefully, you guys have been making some cool stuff. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys like where I've been. It's been a couple months, I think, since I posted anything. Kind of like just us some things have gone up on instagram and TikTok, and i'm kind of focusing a lot more on that as well as i guess here we can announce that we just lost the patreon so if you guys want to support me if you want to do anything to kind of help out the channel help out what we're making over here there will be a link down below uh, the patreon is free right now too so i'm not trying to make something that's to get money out of you guys or anything like that. I want to join as many people as we can early and do it free so you guys can have something that's there. Probably do something exclusive for all the Patreon members, like kind of how it's based. But then once we introduce like pay tiers and stuff like that, I'm actually going to try and have something there for you guys. Goodness gracious. I'm going to get back into the <coughs> swing of making videos and not dying. Recently, we Zazavi has kind of taken a, a lot more seriousness has gone into it now. There's a lot more energy, I guess, that's kind of behind it. And we've made some investments towards it. Um, the next video, I'm definitely going to show you a crucial, crucial, crucial part of what we're doing. I'm super excited to make that video because it's on something that I've wanted for a really long time and kind of show you the process of what I'm using it for and what I'm doing with it. But in this video, we have something really cool. I picked it up on Reverb and I had to buy this. This is one of those things where I was kind of just conflicted. Like, should I buy it? And then I was just like, dude, I'm never going to find one of these in this shape, in this condition with all the stuff that I need for it. And it was just way too good to be true. That's what we're going to do pretty much at the end of the video. But right now, I just wanted to say thank you guys for everybody that stuck around. The schedule on this is kind of crazy. It's really hard to make these type of videos too on YouTube now with copyright claims and stuff like that. So this channel never has really been about like ad revenue or anything like that, but it is a little bit more difficult going forward with what we're going to be doing because I will be using copyrighted material. So, you know, X up right there, just a little warning. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to keep track on everything, the Patreon is probably definitely going to be used a lot more as well as TikTok and Instagram. So all the links for all that stuff are down below. But anyways, let's get into this package. Well, that's a does my phone start as soon as I fucking do this? Here, uh, obviously marked out all the stuff. It's not a small box, um, but we're gonna see definitely what's in it. I'm super excited for it. Vintage samplers and everything are kind of, they've kind of been my thing. Uh, samplers in general have kind of just been my thing. And this one, I don't own anything from this brand yet. Uh, I don't know, you guys don't wanna watch me do a box. Here, I'll just go through, we'll cut through and I'll have the stuff out for you. Oh, this is really, really cool. So yeah, without really kind of teasing you too much, we picked up a Yamaha SU200. This thing is in the box, still pretty much in great condition. I am losing my shit right now over there. All right, yeah. So excuse the, the like rat nest of cords that we have in the studio right now. But yeah, SU200, this baby's still in the box comes with pretty much everything original even has the fucking sample cd which i am pumped for so uh let me try and figure out how to get this out and then we'll take it to the desk and i'll show you it up but yeah as you can see it's in nice shape all right we are over here on the board right now showing off the yamaha su 200 sampler this thing i have had so much fun trying to figure out you know, what am I doing? What's happening? Is everything, am I doing it right? And it's got some quirks to it. Um, some things I like the uh, SP303 a little bit more, but this is a cool sampler. For anybody that's wanting to buy one of these and get one, it is really cool. Um, this It has a scratch little ribbon bar that's right here, which I've only really figured out like one real way to incorporate it because it's not really like a true scratch sound that you get out of it, but it is, um, it's a cool effect when you know how to use it a little bit. Um, but I've kind of put a beat together on this. So really 
not going to take too much time showing this. There's plenty of things online about it, and we're going to make definitely more content using this guy as well. One thing I really like about this sampler is the grades that you can do. You have different sampling grades you go into. Um, so whenever you are sampling things in, you have your high grade, standard grade. There is like a lo-fi mode, and then there's a like super crushed one. Um, I think it's four kilobits per second, I think is what that sample rate is, but at least on like the really, really, really crushed one. Um, so that's cool. It does really good if you're trying to get that kind of sound of just like extremely bit crushed sounds pretty much is the best way. But yeah, let's, I'll just show you guys. I put a beat together, um, Anita Baker. I took an Anita Baker track, Rapture, and kind of chopped it up a little bit, kind of reorganized it, dropped it a little bit, added some effects. So I'll show you guys. Um, like I said, you have your... All your all your pads right here so you have eight pads pretty much just like on a 303 very similar workflow that works in this I like it a little bit more at least in the finger drumming aspect because you do have all of these pads right here um, you have your audio in that's right here uh, so if you have, it's very similar it's 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 um it's not it's not an overthought machine which is nice about it but uh yeah, pretty much through this, you guys, um, if you want to see more of these, just let me know. I'm going to be definitely making some beats with this thing, and we'll be uh, showing it off. But yeah, further less, let's get to it. Anyway, guys, that's kind of what it is. A little goof up on the other one, but yeah, that scratch that I use on that really just you find a word and then you kind of put it. It has this already like digitized sound that doesn't really sound like a scratch, but a very poor man's attempt of trying to mimic a. Yeah. The... And then try and just like time it, I guess, on the bottom level. Is that like very weird digital sound but just kind of mixing with it to kind of mask it just... I don't know it's my rough attempt at it but yeah like I said guys this is the SU 200 I'm really glad to pick it up all right you guys but yeah that's it that's the Yamaha this is the SU 200 really glad that we picked this up I'm super excited the back ports on it too these things a lot of quarter inches so I gotta buy more cables but Right here too, these flash, if you guys are wondering what memory it uses, it's using a smart media card. They're not my favorite thing to do, the 3.3 volts, cause they can kind of be a pain to find. But I mean, once you get it going, it's a really cool sampler. It's it's very much a 90s sampler. They're all kind of the same. I have the SP303 right here as well. We're gonna do a video probably comparing these two. 
because there are a lot of similarities that they do have and they also have a lot of differences the effects being one of them because as you notice I can use a lot of effects on this because it doesn't really have many that I really like other than the filter, which is just like a low pass filter, which eh, we'll get into that in probably the video where we compare these two. If you guys find one of these, I spent 200 bucks on this one. So I found on Reverb, like I said, it was a really good deal. Couldn't really pass it up, especially in this condition. It's not really oxidized at all. Everything works, the screen works, no heating issues, like the batteries are clean, the battery compartment's clean. But yeah, I was really blessed to kind of find this one. It does have its limitations at the same time. But nonetheless, I like it and we make some cool shit on it. So uh, like I said, the Patreon is launching. So the link is down below. So if you guys want to keep up with cool stuff that we're doing, definitely head on over there and do that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.